we've all seen or at least heard of detox smoothies or detox cleanses. But when we talk about detoxifying, doctor, what are the toxins that we're trying to get rid of? Heavy metals, plastics, um, you name it. There's everything that we in, you know, run into in our life, we mm -hmm. have to have the ability to be able to get rid of it. So a lot of um, what we do is uh, we do have genetic testing that we do to see ex exactly where in your detoxification cycles you actually don't have certain genes that allow you to detoxify. Oh, okay. So just like you have you know, cancer genes that can be identified and put you at increased risk, there's also a lot of people who don't know about the fact that you can actually see genetically what you can or can't do detoxification-wise in their cycles. So these... Um, these genes are very, very important because they shut on and they shut off uh, certain uh, parts of the cycle. And you have to supplement properly if you're missing certain components, like glutathione, which is a major antioxidant that gets rid of uh, radicals. Um, and then you have different things like adding in your cruciferous vegetables that we've talked a bunch about because that is super, super, super antioxidant uh, um, and it, it, it gets rid of radicals. It's super anti-cancer. So, and those are all of your whole foods. So your kale, your spinach. Absolutely. It's, you know, I can't say that enough because it's so important for anybody who has these risk factors for inflammation, to whether eat you have a cancer lot of it. or not, to eat a lot of it. Or get it in your juicing exactly. if you have to. There you That's go. Option. Whatever, whatever way so, works whatever for you. Works. Yep. Exactly. Put a shot of curcumin, ginger, whatever it is, and put it in, a, you know, in your juice. It sounds good. Yeah. You also have uh, some suggestions to eliminate toxins in our body. You mentioned a couple. Let's take a look at some of these so we can show our viewers. Um, have one to two bowel movements. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You have to have a regular um, ability to go to the bathroom. So that's where your uh, chia seeds and your flax seeds come into play. Uh, just adding, you know, a, a tablespoon of chia seeds, you know, to your smoothie or to your cereal in the morning will definitely improve with that. So th that, that helps to prevent dysbiosis, which is just that imbalance that exists um, in your intestinal system. Mm -hmm. Uh, a sauna is again just getting rid, rid of, of the, you know all of the toxins through your sweat, just getting rid of it. Um, sweating on a regular basis, that's where your absolute ability to go do exercise comes into play and you have to do that. So at least five times a week for an hour.